Thank you so much for joining me here on the Mother of Wands channel. My name is Volami, and in this video, I'm going to be covering all of the energy that you might be seeing, sensing, hearing, feeling on April 22nd, Wednesday, for the new moon in the sign of Taurus. Now, the new moon is when the sun and the moon meet up in the same sign at the same degree at the same moment as each other, and in this case, it's going to be in Taurus. Now, this new moon has some other things going on with it, like the fact that it's making a conjunction over to Uranus also in the sign of Taurus. It's also harmonizing with the North Node, where we're moving forward, um, how we move forward based on our karma from the past. And it's also going to be making a square over to Saturn. So this is a pretty interesting new moon. And needless to say, it's not going to be the most comfortable. Uranus is at, at its fall position in Taurus, meaning it's the, the sign it likes to be in the least. It's really not comfortable there. Now, when we have this new moon in Taurus, Taurus energy, and we have the sun just moved into Taurus a couple of days ago, all of this Taurus energy is talking about how we find our safety, our security, what we find value in. This also can be talking about money. It can be talking about food and agricultural systems. It can be talking about the economy and larger societal systems and the systems that run our world and create that kind of sense of security internally as well. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is that as this is conjuncting, making a harmony with Uranus and the North Node, this is saying, because Uranus brings great rapid changes from unexpected places, the North Node is where we're headed. So what this could be saying is that the security, the ways that we found security in the past, as we move forward in these larger social systems with our agricultural systems and with things like that, will be changed in ways that will feel very uncomfortable, but will have the outcome of the long-term benefit being that it will benefit where we're headed. We all are pretty aware that most of the systems that we've had ruling our society and culture have been broken and flawed for a long time. Now, this isn't about getting into dualistic thinking. We will have the nodes moving soon and we'll have Gemini and Sagittarius coming up for that. So we will get more into dualistic thinking here shortly, but in the society that we're in here in the United States, we often feel this very dualistic thinking good guys, bad guys, right and wrong. We see a path and we generally think there's just two ways to deal with it, Republican or Democrat, this way or that way. And really it's so much bigger than that. There's so many people that are marginalized when we only think about one way or another way. There's a lot of other alternatives. So this is very interesting. I like to think of how I, I love to carve wood. That's why my name on my channel is the mother of wands. I make a lot of wands and I love carving wood. And so what I'm doing is I'm taking one aspect, a piece of wood, and often a knife or sandpaper, a conflicting aspect, and I'm using them together in harmony to create some different shape, some different flow. And that's what's going on here. This is asking for balance through two counteracting ideas to change what we find safe and secure as we move forward with how we will be reintroduced back into being able to be in public spaces when we're allowed to get out of our homes when that does become possible it's not going to look the same as it did before and what will it look like instead and how can we make that as harmonious as possible to live the lives that we desire living and to create a new system that's really what this new moon is talking about so far this year, we've had a lot of heavy energy um, all, all around, which I was talking about even from January of last year, that January of this year on was going to be very challenging. But the thing is that also April, May, June, and July, as we move forward, it's going to become more challenging before it gets much easier. So this is a time period where we need to be looking at how we can make the most of what we have. We all have finite resources. Doesn't matter who you are, there is some end to the resources that you have. And so because we're working with finite resources, how can we make the most of what we have? If we've recently lost jobs or access to um, the income that we're used to, how can we start to make use of our skills and abilities? And if we've lost um, our ability for comfort and security, how can we make the most of what we have? A lot of people have comfortable homes, but a lot of people have uncomfortable homes and living places as well. How can we begin to make the most out of the things that we do have at our disposal currently is one major topic and one major question that this new moon is asking of us. So when we look at the tarot cards for this new moon, 
we see the page of cups coming up reversed. This is saying that either laziness or lack of imagination due to insecurities are holding us back, especially when we're hearing bad news. It's hard for us to find and maneuver a new way to go because we're feeling insecure, we're feeling unsafe, and we're feeling stifled and unimaginative in how to make new ways forward because here we have the three of swords we're grieving the loss of the way things were which is totally understandable and acceptable the way things were is coming to an end but how can we find a benefit to that and how can we find a benefit for this time of restructuring that we're in and how can we get it to be restructured in ways that will benefit us all equally instead of some portions of us more than others one thing here also that's coming out is saying at the bottom of the deck here these three these three cards so we have the temperance card this is a card of strengthening through patience through um, effort of mixing ideas so here we have those two dualistic ideas represented by the two cups here that are being poured into each other and the idea with this temperance card is that there's one substance in one cup another substance in another cup both are fairly weak on their own but when mixed together they can find a happy medium and they can be strengthened for the benefit of all involved but it's a uh, a process that takes patience, it takes time, it takes applied effort and focus. And it's not always the most comfortable, which is what we see here with the sun coming up reversed. We need to have patience in this time of strengthening, even though it's not the most comfortable, even though it's not exactly the most ideal, fun thing that we um, would be hoping for. And then also we have the Hermit card coming up reverse, which is kind of a no-brainer. Most of us are pretty sick of social distancing. We're sick of staying at home. We're sick of being alone. And so this is saying, how can we find more ways to be social, even though we're we're stuck in perhaps one singular location. Can we be more social online? Can we use groups? Can we use um, communities that we know of online? What ways can we begin to help what ways can we strengthen our ability to be patient through finding more social security through the internet through phone calls through text messages through our friends family loved ones reaching out to new people things like that so this is really the main focus here this temperance card this is a time with this Taurus new moon, it's not going to be the easiest for the majority of us. And it's actually going to set the tone for the entire, almost entire next month of May. And what we want to keep in mind is that this next phase is not going to be the easiest, but it's a time where we really need to put our ideas of dualism, of right and wrong, either social distancing and, and quarantining or going out and just all starting the economy again, these two different ideas. And how can we blend them to see which we, which, um, where the weak spots are in each of these ideas, begin to blend them together and begin to realize that there's more points of view than just our own. And how can we actually incorporate everyone's point of view to find the best possible outcome instead of compromising some for the sake of others. So this temperance card is asking us to have a lot of patience. How can we strengthen ourselves? How can we make the most out of the scenarios that we have? How can we make the most out of the resources that we have at home? Maybe we wanna do some arts and craft projects, but we don't have a lot of fabric to sew or a lot of paint to paint. Like how can we make the most out of what we have? This is about getting inventive and getting creative with ideas and showing the beautiful aspects of human nature, which is that we can make the most out of the most small, simple things. So this is really a time to enjoy the physical pleasures of life as well because Taurus is a very sensual sign. It's very earthy, it's very grounded, but it's, it's a fixed sign meaning that it's nothing really is going to be changing for this next month. It's more about how do we come to terms with what's going on. There's not going to be some major changes. Everything's going to be reopened and back to normal or everything is going to, you know, um, go in this much more disastrous area. It's more about how do we make the most out of what we have because things are going to be fixed for a bit. So how can we feel more safe and secure with what we have? How can we beautify our homes, beautify, beautify our ideas of the world around us? And how can we do what really satisfies us and fulfills us as we're changing our value systems, which is very, very Taurian, Taurus. It's all about what we find value in. So how can we begin to shift those value systems and how can we begin to make the most out of this energy so that we can move forward with that North Node without feeling so restricted, which is that square over to Saturn, feeling restricted, our movements are restricted, our feelings are restricted. How can we begin to let our voice be heard, have our art and our humanness be seen and see it in others as well. Thanks so much for being here with me each and every single day. And until next time, I am singing so much bliss in your direction.